Hermione and I hope you guys are having a really good week. You guys seem to like my Ikea room decor videos and I kind of wanted to make it a series so I can keep the ball rolling because I really enjoy making these and Ikea is accessible to pretty much anyone or almost anyone. I know it's not available everywhere but it's available in most countries unlike Target or other stores that are only available in America or stores that are only available here in England and it's really cheap so that's always a plus. <laughs> So in this IKEA DIY hack video, I'm going to show you a few things that I'm really excited about. But before I get into that, just so you know, you should probably click that subscribe button down below if you're new and you haven't seen me before. That way, I will show up in your subscription box every single time I post a video. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to like it because it lets me know that you like this kind of video. And finally, my social media is also linked down below. You can go check that out too. So without further ado, I will stop talking. Let's get on to these. DIYs. I love crates as room decor and I wanted to get this one from Ikea and see what I could do with it so I got a crate and a toilet paper roll holder. I added some water to some basic craft paint to paint the inside and outside. I did a purple on the inside and grey on the outside and this way it looks kind of washy so you can see the wood beneath it but you can paint it whatever colour you want or you can just leave it plain because I think that looks really nice too. I just wanted to try painting and try this method. Once that was done I went ahead and put the toilet roll holder in the back by screwing it in and then I screwed in some hooks on the front to hold my jewellery. I just wanted to try and create something a little bit different with this and this is what I came up with. You could totally paint the toilet roll holder as well but I thought I would leave it like that and I'm adding my smaller bracelets onto this one and on the hooks I'm adding my longer necklaces. You can also store a small bowl of rings at the bottom and I think this would look really nice if you mounted it on the wall. Next I'm going to show you how I made this Brandy Melville inspired sign and I got this shelf for 70p in the clearance section which is so cheap but I know you can get them for about £3 regularly so I put some masking tape down the sides. You can either invert this and put the masking tape in the middle or put it down the sides like I'm doing here and then I painted with grey in the middle and once that was dry I removed the masking tape and revealed what was underneath. You guys know I love these letters, I will leave a link for them down below but you don't have to use these cardboard letters that I use, you can use stickers or stencils but I love these so much and they're really gold and pretty and shiny. I'm hot glue gunning them on and this is the finished result. Like I said you could stencil it or you could freehand it or any of those things. I just thought it was so cheap I had to show you. Now on to some more life hacks. I'm using this bracket which is actually for a shelf and this costs £2 and I'm attaching it to the wall. I'm using blue tack because my walls are too strong to put any nails in but please nail this to the wall because otherwise it will fall down and scare you in the middle of the night. I'm then wrapping a light around it and this light cable I actually got from Ikea with a Christmas light but you can find them anywhere and this is what it looks like. You can plug it into the wall and I think it's really cute and it can brighten up any space. This is such an easy hack. I'm taking a tablecloth that was reduced for three pounds and I love the pattern on it and I'm using it as a bed runner. So I folded it in half and put it on the bottom of my bed. I actually ironed it to get the wrinkles out once it was on the bed and this is what it looks like. It's so cute. I think it brings a pop of color to any plain bedding. And finally, I took this kitchen spice rack shelf and I'm using a piece of wood I got in the hardware store actually a flooring sample. I'm using it as a little shelf on top of my shelves. You might have seen this in my room before but I love it and it was so cheap and I store my books under here and I just think it adds a little bit of height to the shelf so it makes it more interesting. You should definitely try this out because the little kitchen stand is so cheap. That is everything I have for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to try any of these things, if you like the DIYs, and your favourite thing about Ikea, because who doesn't love Ikea? Maybe it's the meatballs, maybe it's the mom furniture. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. Don't forget to follow me on my social media down below, and I will see you next time. Bye!